Once you're ready to start working on a new feature, CodeStream makes it easy to get started. Just click the plus button and select start work. If you're working on something small like a quick bug fix, you can just type the title and CodeStream will offer to create a branch for you to contain your work. If on the other hand, you're using a service like Jira or Trello to track team tasks, you can OAuth with those services to connect to them, and then CodeStream will present to you a list of all the tickets that are assigned to you. In this case, I'm working on some videos, so I'll grab this card here. CodeStream gives you a default branch name, which is configurable. So if you want to set it up for your team based on available tokens, just set up a pattern and so everybody's branch names will match or be appropriate and consistent, you can do that. And then CodeStream will offer me to move the card to the next list if you've got a Kanban style board. In this case for us, that's in progress. Now, once I save my status, it gets saved on my team page. So now everybody on the team gets to see what I'm working on. And I also get to see it on my profile page. In addition to the status, you'll get to share with your teammates, if you like, all of your local modifications. So people will see not only what you're working on, but what the code is that you're uh, working on in order to accomplish that feature. And those changes get shared in real time with your teammates. So that's getting started on a new feature with CodeStream.